in the Energy Star program, we believe that the consumer should be able to get a more efficient product without sacrificing quality. So um, we've worked for quite a long time to ensure our label doesn't go on to a faulty compact fluorescent. In fact, in our energy efficiency requirement for CFLs, we have uh, performance um, standards as well. So they have to perform at a certain level. They have to last a certain amount of time in order to earn the Energy Star mark. So um, we too believe that it's important for the consumer to get a high quality product. It should be a good color. It should last a long time. They should be happy with their experience of a CFL. So that's important. As far as mercury goes, this is an important issue. And um, we are very much engaged in this, uh, the dialogue and all the efforts underway to try and find good, safe solutions for the mercury in CFLs. So for example, we are talking with entities who um, may be in a position to collect these for consumers. Um, entities that may be in a position to provide a box to consumers so they can tuck the CFL in a box and then ship it, um, perhaps at no cost or low cost, to, uh, so it's safely handled at end of life. So yes, we have to look at this holistically. Um, we make great strides in, um, in reducing greenhouse gas emissions with CFLs. Lighting is a really big energy user in our houses, so in switching over to CFLs, we're gonna see great improvements, but we don't wanna forget about the end of life issues, and we at EPA are um, considering those carefully and looking for good solutions for consumers.